Hi, you guys. It's Molly from Molly's Artistry. Fair warning, I believe they're cutting the grass in our neighborhood outside, so you may hear some stuff. Um, I am, and you won't be able, I can't get it all in the canvas with the way that my tripod is set up, sorry. Um, but I'll take it down at the end and show you um, as much as I can. So, last night, our garage door is broken and flies were getting into my garage and I didn't have something to cover um, the beautiful lime green and orange one that I had. I didn't have anything to cover it so I brought it inside and that was a mistake. One, my paint was too thick um, and two, it dried too fast, it was almost all dry, so it was cracking everywhere. And once I reflected on it, I also think that, um, you know, I had a painting underneath it. Either that also probably wasn't cleaned properly or the fact that it was plastic underneath aided in the fact that it was drying, like the top layer was drying, but the bottom layers weren't drying because it doesn't dry close to plastic. So. I think all of those things combined, um, lesson learned, uh, a little bit thinner paint. Um, not gonna bring all my paintings inside, especially the thicker ones, unless I can have it like, you know, heat controlled, humidity controlled. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna paint over any more canvases for a while. That kind of scared me, even though I know you can. I know you can, you know, gesso them and sand them again and, um, I know people do it all the time. I've done it before, but not with these, not with these thicker ones. Um, so yeah, so let me go ahead and get started. So it is New Year's Eve. So this is a, yep, New Year's Eve. Um, so this is a 12 inch by 36 inch canvas. I am flipping over two, four, six, seven cups. I normally do four or five cups for the 12 by 24. Um, I'm wondering if I should even save this cup and slide everything over a little bit. So let me see what that looks like first. I might do that and then use this cup as needed. So six cups. Just because I wanna be able to spread the paint out and actually move it off of the canvas because I think that's also something else that happened. Um, this is a learning process for me as well. So, you know, I always don't want to move anything because it looks so beautiful, but then you got to take some paint off the canvas. You got to stretch your cells out a little bit. So, um, yeah. You can check on the links below. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel and get the updates. I make a couple of videos Really, it's been almost every single day, but normally on the weekends, I make a couple of videos, try to get some paintings in. I'm getting ready for an art show coming up, Artie Gras, great art show. I'm um, in it as an emerging artist this year because they do this great program. Um, so if you like, check out the links below, my Facebook, my Etsy. I'm downloading a bunch of stuff into my store tonight. Um, pieces that I varnished today. I had a long day of varnishing. This is the only painting that I've done so far today. And I may play around a little bit a little bit later. I have that that I got from the dollar store. And this, which is some type of cake decorating tool. And I think I'm gonna play around with those tonight um, on a canvas and see what kind of cool effects I can get. All right, so I think it's, I've scared you guys. I loved that other painting so much. And already I see a lot of orange in this painting. I don't know if I like that. The other painting was a lot of electric blue and lime. So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. There's the colors that I like. We had a lot of paint in these cups. I'm glad I only did these. I'll save that paint. A lot of lime green, loving it. A 
loving it. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I didn't use all seven cups, guys, but now I have this extra cup. I might have to do a flip cup on a square canvas over there. Ooh, that blue is pretty. Gosh, guys, I think I got too much paint again. Hmm. Interesting. My consistency is definitely thinner because it's flowing out of the cups, but I hope that my cells stay together. That's always the other issue. If your paint's too thin, then your cells are gonna stretch out quick. Um, this last cup on the end always gives me problems. So, lessons out of this pour already. Too much paint. I did six cups. I should have done five cups because they were filled. Um, I mixed too much paint over here on the side as well. And that already has silicone in it. So probably gonna have to do another pour. That's not the end of the world, right? I don't want too many cells popping up. I just want nothing going on in that blue right there. I just want to pop my air bubbles right now. I like the cells that did form. We'll see what's going on right here. I wonder if I should just kind of Or a stripe like that. Probably shouldn't have done that, but we'll see. Whew. Okay, guys. I'm going to get tilting. We'll see what happens. I like all the cells down here, but I guess I'll tilt up first. My paint is definitely thinner. But I'm just afraid. Okay, bring the paint back. Oh, it's lovely. Lovely. But I really want to get some of the paint off. Maybe I'll go a little bit further up. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. I want those cells. Now we'll go down. Actually like that yellow stripe that I added in that blue look that would have just been a whole section of blue right there otherwise still a lot of paint on there guys I like the cells at the bottom more than I like the top so I just see if I want to push I'm just going straight up now see if there's any of that, that I want to How's that side look? It's good. How much paint is still on there, guys? You can tell, if you're ever wondering, you can tell by how much how fast the paint moves. It's 
So like that paint is still moving kind of fast. Ooh, I don't want to stretch these cells out too much. Okay, I'm gonna move them back up. My cells got kind of wonky. I think I moved it too much, guys. Ooh, I got really nervous for a second there. Well, this piece will never be that other piece that I had, but I think this piece is pretty freaking awesome too. And I have enough paint, I might do another one, geez. Cell's got a little crazy in the middle there. I tilted a little bit too much trying to get the paint off, so lesson learned again. Just go all the way, get as much as you think you'll need off, and then come back down for a pass and then stop messing with it. And then it's good to go. All right. Wow, you guys, it looks like the ocean to me. Like, like there should be little fishies swimming around in here. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm silly. Hi, there's me. Okay, and now to look at the cells. Hope it's focusing. There are some really cool little like cells that have every single color in them, which is amazing. I'm so happy when that happens. That comes from layering the paint, like that one right there. Can you see it? It's like lime and then blue and then dark blue and then lime again. Let me see if I can find another one. There's some yellow ones down there. I don't even know if you guys are seeing this because I can't see it. But anyway, there's the entire piece. See if I can get it in there. Oh, that's my face. You don't want to see that. So there it is. And thanks for watching. And I'll let you guys know how this one dries. Uh, happy New Year's and happy painting. See you guys later. Bye.